Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please hit that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy these readings. We're going to take a look at love. Just felt called to look at love. We're going to look at you and then we're going to look at your person and see what the energies are. While you are in separation, please be mindful. These are general messages. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And as always, these are messages for entertainment purposes only. And yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, like I said, there is a link in the description box below. Okay, you're starting with separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future, self-indulgence, focusing on self, self, self-worth, timing, taking time to heal, doing some shadow work, Oh, self-appreciation and the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So this feels like an overall message that, you know, while you and while you and another person are in separation, there is this taking time out to focus on what healing needs to be done within the self, right? What shadow work, um, learning to love the self, during a breakup or during a separation definitely an energy of sadness and missing one another or missing the relationship or um, thinking about all the positive aspects of the relationship missing those not missing the negative stuff um and i feel like there's um having a desire to maybe try to repair the relationship or take it to another level too so let's take a look a little bit deeper dive in a little bit deeper we're going to take a look at your person over here and then take a look at you and see what messages are coming through for both of you okay let's see while you are in separation more specifically for the month of october okay let's see what's going on with your person their energy okay so right straight off the bat they have the nine of swords so yeah i feel like this person is definitely struggling right now virgo and they are missing you for sure they are having a lot of anxiety mental conflict for sure they're having a hard time sleeping um a lot of inner tur turmoil um, up late, stressing at night. Nighttime feels like it's the worst time for them while you're in separation. Uh, upset about an argument or some kind of the way you guys separated. Something that has happened. Okay, yeah, they've got the Ten of Wands. So they're really burdened by something that have, has occurred. Some kind of struggle or some argument or something that's happened. Hmm. Wow. You are definitely on this person's mind. You are for sure. Um, they're really stressing about you being single. Um, they think that you're doing all right without them and they hate that. It's killing them. I mean, it's not that they, it's not that they want you to be suffering, but I feel like there's, there's, I feel like they 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 feel like they put a lot on you. They made you. Um, I don't. It's not so much regret, but they feel like they put you under a lot of pressure. They like they put a lot on you. Like they put you through it. That's what I feel like. There's like this. They can't deal with themselves right now. Like they can't deal with the fact that they know they put. They know they gave you a hard time. They know they put you through some crazy, some just some nasty whatever i don't even know if it's nasty or whatever it might have been they laid a lot on you they put all these heavy expectations on you they burden you stress you out that's that's really what i just feel like that message is that they they just loaded you up with with all the the work expected you to carry so much of the relationship or the burden expected you to do everything uh, and it looks like they're just having a hard time dealing with that. But I also feel like they are not, <laughs> they want to be with you. 
That's what I feel like. They don't like while you guys are in separation that you are not with them, right? They're having a hard time. So I don't know if you you ended something with them or they ended something with you. If they ended it with you or you were forced to end it with them, it looks like they're kind of like, oh man. If the regret card or remorse, like the five of cups shows up, because I'm feeling that energy, but it's not here to confirm it just yet. But I, I do see like, they don't want to be single. They don't want to be, this person does not want to be, look, gosh, man, this person is really, wow, the eight of swords, like they are definitely like stuck. They're definitely stuck, okay. And trying to find their way out of this mess, for sure. Oh my gosh, I feel like this person, they definitely want to try to fix something here with you, make an apology. They're, they're planning on doing that in October to try to come towards you, reach out to, to you. You know, universe is kind of pushing them, ask for forgiveness or to try to have a new um, beginning with you here with the Ace of Cups. Uh, maybe even propose. Yeah, okay. There might have been another involvement with another person or, yeah. Hmm. There's another person in the picture who might be kind of pushing them to fix the relationship as well. There's somebody else. Ooh, two other people also kind of pushing them to fix the relationship. And also telling them um, that they should commit to you. It looks like another, maybe a married couple. It fe I feel like they're getting some kind of advice that they need to heal this relationship with you. It feels like another couple, like another couple who's committed, like they have experience <clears throat> with relationships. You know, they're not taking advice from someone who's been single as a Pringle their entire lives and has no relationship experience. It feels like two other people. And I also feel like this person sees you as an equal to them. Like, I don't know, Virgo, it kind of feels like they're very unsure of the future right now with you, but I do feel like they want to heal this thing for sure. And I feel like they're getting some assistance or some help. You know, and even with that two of wands, this this gives me an energy of this person that's like definitely at a crossroad as far as like I see them really stressing to start like oh like kicking themselves. This feels like kicking themselves for either letting you go, letting you walk away, or pushing you away. And they come to this crossroad here in October where like they get kind of pushed towards you, you know, like, okay, that's what this self-indulgence, that's what this focusing on self, that's what, like taking this time to heal, that's what this person is like, oh, geez, you know, that doing the shadow work, like I, I feel like they have that talk, like they come to their side of the street and start sweeping for their their actions they're not trying to clean up your actions they start cleaning up their own and that's what that healing is all about right so it looks to me like um this person is coming in asking for some kind of forgiveness asking i mean i feel like this person is like if they're stressing so bad it feels like they they've like they pushed the best pushed away the best thing they ever had you know that's yeah that's really what i feel like you were it looks like you you while you're in separation this is what they're coming to terms with like they i just feel like this kicking themselves energy <laughs> this kicking themselves energy let me take a look at you virgo see what your energy is here oh all right so you're starting off with so you're kind of curious wondering if this person is going to reach out if they're talking to somebody else or if they've moved on so i do see that you're still kind of looking back you're trying to maybe seeking some signs you're very curious you're looking for signs 
to see if they've got like a new fling or if they freed themselves or if they're off with somebody else or if they are you're kind of looking you're peeking a little bit looks like in October to see if they've like if they're still acting a fool or if they are talking to somebody new or if they have a new crush or a new interest in, in someone else okay so I see you, you kind of doing that and I see this person being like completely single you know they, they do look like they're stable I mean they're working they're going to work they're doing their thing but I see them with a uh, maybe you have a connection with a fire sign or, or a Virgo or uh, it could be a Taurus but I do see this person being um, you know just solo on their own um, but you're looking to see if maybe they have somebody else I see that in October um, we're picking up Aquarius energy as well okay see so you're you're pretty slow to reach out to this person um, you're trying to heal yourself as well you're kind of hmm not really sure if you want to you're uh, if you if you're planning to reach out to this person I feel like you're or to start up conversation with them I feel like you're uh, waiting it's a timing thing for you I feel like you're waiting until you're kind of like you're waiting for the right time until you either know for sure that they're free and it, you don't want to reach out it looks like you don't want to reach out to this person if they are engaging with somebody else because either you don't want to find that out you don't want to know because you don't want to it might hurt you because you might still feel triggered um or or you're not ready because you have the star so this for, for you Virgo I feel like there's still this you're not in a rush to try to initiate anything with this person just yeah you're still it looks like you're still weighing whether or not it's worth it or it could even work out okay um you're kind of on the fence a little bit it looks like in october picking up some strong aquarius vibes here so you're kind of on the fence you know I mean, you do want, I do see that, like, you, you're not in a rush. You're not rushing. But you're, you're not rushing into anything new either. But you're not rushing back either. So I do see, like, you're still trying to heal, too. You still have this, you know, energy going on, too. And you might be missing this person as well. You might be still thinking about them. Not be. You're not sure of your future with this person or anybody else going forward. Um, you definitely want um, a relationship to evolve to the next phase and you are having growth and so is this person but it's kind of it feels like a very stagnant energy you know because right here in the center you both have the two the two of uh pentacles and the two of wands so that's kind of a stalemate like nobody's really at a crossroad nobody's really doing anything we're just kind of like hmm can't move forward can't move back not really sure what to do yeah so it looks like oh well you're the one with the five of cups wow so you have a little bit of remorse and maybe a little bit of regret for something maybe you said virgo okay what virgo what did you say you might have initiated something pretty harsh or you reacted in something pretty harsh said something pretty harsh or you know you laid down some law or you said something yeah okay so it looks like you might not be sure that this person would even want to talk to you anymore right i don't know virgo you might be having some self-worth stuff going on deep inside yourself maybe you're trying to forgive yourself you might be and that's okay you're human Virgo everybody everybody says things you know sticks and stones may break my bones but words can never hurt me we have to remember that we really do we have to remember that we don't have to own the words right so or maybe they said something to you and you're still trying to heal from that it could be reverse as well um 
But I feel like right now you might be trying to um, reconcile yourself to some truths. Um, I feel like you could be trying to like let something go as well. Or at least trying to get into a more forgiving kind of um, mode here. Forgiving yourself or forgiving another person. So you can kind of open up and have more love in your life. Looks like a little bit of a struggle between the two of you. Um, let me see the overall outcome for Virgo and their person. For your person. Overall outcome for Virgo and their person. Will this relationship work out for them looks like yes you've got judgment so there's definitely reconciliation for you and this person and this is really just about opening up and coming to a, a final decision being open and honest with each other, having that heart to heart. So I feel like this, like, you see how they are like completely nude, <laughs> the nudies. This is like complete transparency, being open and honest. I feel like this is like coming out of the dark, answering the call. I feel like if there's phone calls or converse, you know, text messages, I feel like you guys are gonna talk. There will be some conversations that you guys both have. Um, clarity, give clarity to each other, kind of kiss and make up energy. This is um, understanding, talking about um, what you both want in this relationship, where you see it going. This is like really beautiful to have as an outcome, the judgment. I like it. So, but I feel like this is just kind of going to happen naturally you might actually be the one who initiates eventually a conversation with some kind of an apology um not uh, just to s not really anything specific maybe just to say uh sorry that things went the way they went you know and maybe just to try to call a truce so there's no bad blood so to speak so there's like just to give closure, but I feel like to give closure or to get closure either way. Um, but I feel like that actually instigates and makes this person happy and makes you happy. You guys actually start to talk and kind of like stuff starts coming out. Okay. That chemistry between you, the strong magnetic attraction, that chemistry actually <laughs> doesn't go away. The question is... Are you compatible? And that's what you guys talk about, right? Because I feel like the chemistry between you and this person is definitely there. Very strong magnetic attraction between you and this person. Yeah. And there's a past life connection between you and them. I don't feel like um, there's something here about this relationship where it's like something you've never felt before. And it's the same for them. It's just a very similar thing between the two of you. You've known each other before. Even if you've never known each other before, there's just this recognition of souls. You see yourselves in each other. Um, it's just something that's like difficult to let go. And this is the one. You've already met the, the romantic partner that you seek. So I feel like um, you know, we have free will. Everybody does. Just because two people are meant to be together doesn't mean they will be. I, I feel like it's a choice that has to be made. Not everybody makes that choice. Sometimes people just don't want to put in the work or put in the effort, you know? And it's really just a matter of like, is it worth it? Some people do think it's worth it. And sometimes some people just can't do it. I feel like there will be some type of conversation that, that gets started. Um, that there will be a there will be a talk and i don't feel like it's the talk isn't is intended to reopen um anything i feel like the talk is intended to let bygones be bygones but it actually starts off some dialogue and things actually become clearer there's clarity there's an honest conversation that happens and i feel like 
it it actually brings reconciliation now does that mean you guys will be back together again we'll have to see in later videos and later readings but i do feel like you guys are going to talk in a, in a much more mature open and honest way and reveal your truths to each other you know like why this was said why that was said what happened here why so and so did this why so and so did that what the reasoning was you know um what one person was thinking or feeling and vice versa and um for some it may bring closure for others it may bring you closer so we'll have to see let me see what other messages are here for you okay so you do have haste speed and travel so this is cupid's arrows so there will be a lot of communication coming in for sure also um talk about a lifestyle change um there will be some conversation coming up about changing a lifestyle something to do about the way somebody lives or has lived their life will be part of this conversation endure and be patient okay this feels like piscean energy as well so this is about having a different perspective um seeing things differently um a different point of view part of this conversation is going to open up a lot of different angles of understanding and uh why somebody needs to be a bit more patient about something and also material wishes being granted wow um this feels like um a new opportunity will present itself to invest in this relationship the opportunity is going to come about to uh, reinvest in this relationship again doesn't mean it will be taken but if somebody is wishing for this um i'm also getting this energy of um there's good news regarding money as well okay coming up for you virgo material wish now for some of you this could be a proposal of some sort where there's something uh, like a ring being offered or a promise ring um, but it's something material and it has a monetary value connected to it so i'm not sure what that means for you but that's they're just giving me this ring thing or um, a piece of something symbolic that represents a promise of a wish something tangible Okay, so mature, dynamic, fiery male. It's a very fiery energy uh, showing up here. So that would be Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Okay, so you could have that in your chart somewhere, or this could be the person who is showing up. Okay, shocking energy from this person coming in. I feel like... Um, there's definitely this is i do feel like this is a kiss and makeup scenario i have to say that virgo now um you know whether you want it or not that's up to you i know some of you do want to just try to have this situation where it's let bygones by, be bygones and that's fine that's good for your health <laughs> never leave bad blood with anybody um and uh but if you don't care, then, you know, you don't care. What can I say? This is not for everyone. But I do feel like there, there will be an opportunity to fix this situation. Um, and if you want to be able to repair it, yes, it's on the table. Okay. Let's take a look and see the Chinese sign of you and your person. So we've got year of the monkey, year of the pig, year of the rabbit, double rabbit, year of the dog, year of the rooster, year of the goat, year of the tiger, double tiger, 
and year of the ox okay now that may be you it may be your person it may be just one of you it may not be either of you and if it's none of you it doesn't mean it's not your message i'm gonna go right into the initials and other energies yeah you guys i can't even believe it okay so we've got taurus and gemini showing up here okay so we've got someone who's 48 years of age someone born in 1989 someone who is 52 years of age someone is 26 and also they're telling me august 26th we have the year 1982 someone is 40 okay september 2nd okay i just they're giving me the name ian they're giving me sean they're also telling me oh something to do with a sister um okay i just heard lisa uh cyan cyan uh okay somebody's running a business okay so we have the initial s as in sam initial b for boy letter a we have an i we have a z and we have e okay let's try to get a couple more looks like this one's going to be a little short tonight sorry about that i don't know why but i don't have my decks i think i must have moved them put them somewhere earlier today my apologies i just saw the initial t okay so we have initial s as i said we have a d we already have a we have a u we have initial j and we've got an A again. Okay, 1985, 19, someone's 47. We have August 29th, 1980, someone's 43. Someone is 52. We have the initial E, I said that. September 2nd is here again. And double Gemini here, what? All right, let's get a few more. All right, Aquarius, Pisces, and Taurus again. Someone's birthday is in July, 1990, 1967, 1983. Someone's 54, 43, 46. We have the initial L, and we have September 1st, okay. Also, September 15th, significant. All right, let's get your charms, you guys. Okay, wow, cool. Spider. We like spiders. So it's getting into spooky season. Maybe somebody likes Spider Man. Or something to do with spiders. Caught in a web. Some of you are trying not to get caught in a spider's web. Um, somebody here might be a widow and is just trying to forgive, let go and forgive to move on. And, find, and be available for a healthy relationship. And um, you might have a tattoo of a spider or you have a tarantula also, pet tarantula, or someone does, just hearing pet tarantula. Um, yeah, we're getting into spooky season, so maybe you have like a big, Oh, those big gigantic spiders that make those huge massive webs somewhere. You might see one or run into one somewhere. Okay. We also have a green yellow flower. Very pretty. So this feels like these are very fall kind of energies. I feel like mums, you might have green or yellow mums coming up somewhere. Maybe you will buy one. I know that in the Northern Hemisphere, we're going into the fall. Some of you are going into the spring as well. So you might have some greenish yellow flowers as well coming up somewhere. You're seeing them somewhere. They're taking some pictures of them. 
You also have, it looks like a sparrow. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like a sparrow. So I've seen a few sparrows laying around or chirping away. Um, so if you're in the spring, you might have some sparrows that are starting to birth some little baby sparrow babies, little sparrow birdie babies. Um, yeah, so if you see any sparrows around, that's definitely a strong message. Sparrows are very friendly and social. And for some of you, that might be a message of trying to be a bit more social in your life, if you can. Um, if you can, especially in October. And look, here's a, another horned owl. I don't know what's going on with these owls lately, but yep, an owl with a key. So this definitely is a message that you have the wisdom you know what you need to do pay attention to your intuition and trust yourself okay trust your intuition virgo um i think let me just i'm gonna give you a couple extra messages i wanted to keep with the love thing but like i said my cards are missing so i'm just gonna throw in some extra just so it's not so super short let's see i don't think i can use all right let me see if i can use this deck all right let me take a look let's see what messages virgo needs to know this week going forward what are the most important messages extra messages Virgo needs to know going forward this week. Okay, you've got the Emperor. So this is a strong message for you to take a lead. Take the lead in your life this week. Everything you do, do it on purpose. Do it with purpose. Be the CEO of your life and all the decisions that you make going forward. Go with confidence and strength. Be strategic in every decision that you make. Positioning yourself, planning for the best possible outcome. Not second rate, not second best, not mediocre. Okay, you also have the death card. So this is also a message here for you, Virgo. Big changes are coming. Big changes. For some of you, it's time to move on. And for some of you, there's like a rebirth that's happening. So pay attention because these are major arcana. So these aren't things that you can really avoid. When major arcana happens, this means that you have to go with the flow with these changes. Whether they're good or negative changes, death means it's time to transform and transition into a new phase and let go and take charge of your life. Okay, you also have Ace of Swords. This is about overcoming your obstacles, Virgo. So any obstacles that you face this week, go in with truth and a victory mindset this week for sure. If you sign any documents, sign them with intention. Make sure that what you're doing, you intend to do what you're doing. Don't do anything haphazardly. You might be signing some documents this week or doing something that's going to require your signature. Make sure you read the fine print and that what you're signing is because you mean to do it, because you mean to sign it. Cut through any of the BS. You're definitely going to have some new ideas. Um, you might also be getting surgery or scheduling surgery this week. Um, I feel like make sure that you find a surgeon who has, hold on, they're saying, they're giving me a message here about this surgeon. Don't find a surgeon who has practiced Find a surgeon who has done a particular surgery more than a thousand times. <laughs> it 
so that they are so good at it. Not someone who has, I don't know what that message means. Find a surgeon who has done this one particular surgery a thousand times. That's what they just gave me thousand times more or more than a thousand times that's a lot of surgeries yes someone who's prominent what else does Virgo need to know that's interesting like look them up research them oh okay so you've got the six of cups here I always love that card so um, there's definitely nostalgia, some gifts you might be thinking of buying or you could be receiving. There is a reunion as well showing up here this week for you um, and children being very significant this year. I'm sorry, this week for you. Um, there might be a blast from the past showing up this week also. A reunion with a blast from, with someone from your past. Okay. You also have the Six of Wands, which is awesome. You'll definitely be receiving some good news this week. And you you will be recognized for something. You could um, receive some, an, some kind of an award or a reward. Um, and uh, be successful at something this week. Or you'll be finding out about it. And you also have Justice. Oh, awesome. So there is some kind of truth that's also coming out this week for you which will be in your favor okay and you've got the nine of wands and this is also a message here maintaining your boundaries and being persistent protecting what's yours and not letting anybody in unless they have the passcode to your heart <laughs> unless they have the passcode to your heart don't give your passcode away for free <laughs> All right, Virgo, that was kind of a melancholy reading tonight. I just wanted to put that out there. I was just feeling really called to just do this he versus she, or she versus she, or he versus he, or they versus they reading. Um, love you and them just to try to see what's like a little check the pulse of the relationship between you and another person. Um, thanks, everybody, for coming up with names for our, our mascot here. I guess... I love the Kelator. That's really cute. I'm probably not going to go with that, but that was, I really thought that was funny. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll be uh, looking at the rest of the names. So go over to my community tab because I did post his picture so we can kind of come up with a name for him. Um, and I'll let you guys know when we finally figure it out. So yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. And there will be an October special coming up very soon. And uh, I will see you all back here tomorrow. Okay, have a great night. Love you. Bye.